Back up in the AFTV studio. They're about to do the starting 11 show. Got Lee Judges, Julian, yeah. Robbie, and a special guest, Dell. <laughs> We're there. About to go live. This could be it, man. This could be the year. This is, this is the set. I'm not going to get ahead of myself, no. But we no, are we we're very close. And of course, that is on the show. He's praying for a win today. Right, guys, I am back in the AFTV studio for the big game tonight at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal versus Luton. Starting 11 is in, and I must say, I am quite surprised, actually, with how many changes have been made by Arteta. But one thing that does tell me is that He's feeling quite confident about tonight's game. A lot of rotation. We got a couple people up in the studio. Special. We got Cass. Big up Cass. We got special guest Del Elliott up in other place. You see it? Give me your money. Oh yeah, I say. Oh yeah, say Del. Please, please just stop. You're not like me, Jamaican accent. No, 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 no. No? Me a cringe. Yeah, a cringe. Let's Rocky Jamaican accent, like pure still. Rocky Barnes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's hear your London accent. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. And I'm not there it's yet. Not bad, it's I'm not, not bad. I'm not it sounds there. alright. But I'm gonna get there. Give me give me some time, innit? I'll give you a fiver. A fiver, a tenner, a square. A square? A score. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this thing right now. <laughs> oh, Del is too funny. So Del, it's great to have you here on the AFTV studio um sofa. So asak. <laughs> Listen, Arteta has made quite a few changes to the team. How are you oh. feeling about that? Honestly, I kind of fret a little bit, you know, but um, I have a lot of faith in um, Emil Smith Rowe. Don't have a lot of faith in Reese. Um, I don't, I don't, honestly, I feel like it might sound bad, but big up yourself in a Reese. But Reese is like the last set of like the players, them where we feel like we need for like <laughs> big up yourself, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Dale's a comedian, by the way, for anyone who didn't know. He is a comedian. He's, he's absolutely funny. Like, I love his content. I love his stuff. He does live shows. He's just taking a breather now because, you know, yeah. But, yeah, as you were saying, um, Reese wouldn't have been his first choice um, of players to come on. I think Reese is quite vibrant, you know, good player and everything. Um, I think we needed a bit more strength in that defensive area. I would have preferred for Tommy Yasu to start over Zinni, but I'm guessing, you know, we're going to try and get forward and attack them a bit more. But all in all, I'm feeling confident. We're at home, you know, we're on a good run of form. I feel like we're going to go out there and we're going to get three points. My score prediction today is 3-1. Let's go. Time is out at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal 2, Luton 0. Listen, I can't lie, yeah. When I saw that starting 11 and I saw... How many changes were made? I was feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit, just thinking, wow, that is quite a bold mood, move from Mikel Arteta to make so many changes. Um, but it paid off and I'm happy that he did make them changes because it means we was able to rest our key players because we have got some big fixtures ahead of us. So I am happy that Mikel Arteta did make that bold decision and make those changes and I must say credit to the team as well and the players who did actually come in and step up and you know really um put out a good performance the player who really stood out for me today was Emil Smith Rowe he was awarded with man of the match which I think was greatly deserved for him great performance from him he was involved in both of the goals that we scored also um and he could have scored himself as well so big credit to Emil Smith Rowe, especially where he hasn't been getting minutes, you know, he's sort of been faced with some injuries and everything. So to see him come out today at the Emirates Stadium against a relegation fighting team in Luton and get a man of the match performance, you got to give credit where it's due. So, yeah, so that was um, good from Emil Smith Rowe and... 
This now means that we are top of the Premier League table. We do know that Man City did also win at home. I believe they got a 4-1 win against Aston Villa. Phil Foden with a hat-trick, which means they remain in third. But Liverpool are playing tomorrow where they are at Anfield to Sheffield United. I can't lie, I'm just hoping for some form of miracle um, and Liverpool don't get three points. That is what I'm hoping for. But um, all in all, all we can do is just stay focused on the things that we can control, what we can do, which is just go out there, put out good performances and win our games. Um, I mean, it's good that we did make the changes and you can sort of see our first team in comparison to our B team. You know, you can sort of see the difference between the two sides. The players today did try, but you can sort of see who our main team players are. And you can see a difference in the um, energy and the tempo and the output from the team when you do sort of bring in the B team. But still, all in it, it's all good. And we just got to keep working, you know. So we've made so many changes. When you sort of compare us this season in comparison to last season, you know, who knows if we would have got three points today. So we we are moving in the right direction. I do feel like there is more um, training, more work to be done to put into our B team. So when we are subbing off players or we are making changes or rotating the team, we can have a like for like and we don't have too much drop off in the quality. So it's all learning, all things to be noted. And it's all about just moving forward in the right direction. All in all, I'm happy that we got the three points today. We managed to score two beautiful goals. Um, well, one was an own goal. Didn't concede any. To be fair, you know, um, first half, I think, was much better than the second half in terms of our performance. I do feel like Luton came out a little bit more in the second half, tried to get something out of the game, which you can sort of understand. I'm sure they don't want to be relegated back to the championship. But all in all, we done what we needed to do. Uh, good substitutions from Mikel Arteta. I feel like the substitutions came at the right time. When you sort of read Mikel Arteta's body language on the touchline as well, don't it didn't really look like he was too happy with um, what he was seeing from the team. But, you know, credit to them for trying. Um, all in all, I'm happy. We got the three points. We're top of the table. We scored two goals whether it was our own goal whatever we didn't concede any goals so you know I always like to take the positives from the situations and always like to learn as well our next fixture now is away to Brighton I feel like we will revert back to what we normally play so our usual starting 11 I feel like it will be important because we know Brighton ain't an easy team to play and you know they're gonna really give us a tougher battle so I'm happy that those players got a rest I'm happy that Saka got a rest he wasn't even on the bench so I'm happy with yeah everything can next game now is away to Brighton we just go out there and do what we got to do all it's about now the key thing is just to keep that mental strength just stay tuned on stay switched on it's all about the mentality the mindset now we need to believe that we're champions we need to have that belief within ourselves go out there and play our games as if we are champions like what we've done against man city that's what we got to do just keep fighting Brighton, I'm expecting three points there as well. Anyway, I'm Charlene Smith. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on today's game. Uh, my man of the match today was Emil smith -Rowe. I think it was well-deserved. He definitely stood out by a far in comparison to all the other players. So big well done and congratulations to Emil smith -Rowe. Great to see him, um, you know, do so well in the game. Next game now is away to Brighton and, you know, we look forward to that. I will be doing a preview show for that as well, so do stay tuned. If you haven't already, please do like this video and I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Peace out. Bye for now.